guess what, guys? E3's been happening, and wait, what the heck? Oh my god, a new Spider-Man game! I'm so excited! So, yeah. E3's been going on for a few days now. Um, haven't been overly excited for most of the stuff that's been coming out, but the two games that I'm really excited about, we're gonna talk about today. The first one being the new Spider-Man game that just was announced yesterday at 9 o'clock at the Sony press conference and I gotta tell you guys a uh, real talk I'm I'm very very excited about it it looks beautiful it's being made by insomniac which is also awesome the uh, there was some voice acting done on the trailer which was pretty cool showing I recognize the voice I'm just not entirely hundred percent positive who it is but if I'm guessing correctly, it sounds like the voice actor from Spectacular Spider-Man. And considering this is a Sony project, that would kind of make sense that they might bring him back in for this game. I don't know. Uh, someone can correct me in the comments if I'm mistaken. But, yeah! There's a Spider-Man game coming out. The one thing that disappointed me was there was no release date, which makes me... It, it broke my little my, my little Night Wolf heart. It, it broke it. Um... But, what we did see was really cool. It looked like some in-game footage, sort of. Very polished. It might not be what the game actually looks like when it's finished. But it looked really cool. Um, the costume itself was relatively interesting. Had a nice big white spider on it. I, I'm not entirely sold on it. It looks a little bizarre in my personal opinion. But, at the same time, it looks pretty darn cool to be completely honest it's it's different um, it'll have to grow on me probably but I like it for what it is I'm excited I want to see what this game's going to be about more than anything oh the one thing I noticed in the trailer is well some of the enemies he was fighting there were a lot of guys in suits a lot of thug looking dudes wearing Silver demon-esque masks, which made me think, uh, is this going to be Mr. Negative? Is Mr. Negative going to be a important element in this story, in this game? I don't really know, but it looks very much like it. If you go and check out the little trailer, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. If you haven't seen it already, it looks an awful lot like Mr. Negative's foot soldiers. Not really 100% sure if that's really the case, but at least on the plus side, it's something. There isn't a whole lot of other information except for that it's probably going to be exclusively for the PlayStation 4, which I'm okay with. I'm planning on buying a PS4 anyway, so hey, more, more games for me. Yay! I would like to know your guys' thoughts on this particular game. It's interesting to say the least we don't know what's gonna happen or even when it comes out I hope it's soon I hope that it'll be announced soon because what they have done looks pretty good already I, I, I really just want this game it's been ages Marvel uh, doesn't have a lot of console games uh, lately they've been very lax in that department I think the last one <coughs> excuse me the uh, last one that I remember was Amazing Spider-Man 2 for the Spider-Man movie. I don't remember... Well, no. Wait, no, that's not accurate. There's the Lego Marvel Avengers game. That was the last game that came out. But I don't hate Lego games. I love the Mar Lego Marvel games. But I'm talking about one that's not branded with something else like Lego or something to that. I was hoping that we'd get to see information on maybe an Ultimate Alliance 3. That's probably never going to happen. That's just a pipe dream. Uh, an Avengers base game would have been cool probably I just want to see some games that kind of take place in different in a different time frame of Marvel you know kind of some of their more heyday related stuff but at the same time I mean it's one game spider-man related and that makes me really happy I just hope that it's done properly and I'm not going to be overly aggravated by what I see or what they decide to do for story and whatnot. I'll probably still play it, and if you guys want me to, I will play it on this channel, actually, when it comes out. 
if that's what you'd like to see, let me know. Um, or I might just play it on the channel regardless. So, hey, you'll get it anyway. I, I don't know. I need to get it. I kind of need to communicate with you guys more and ask what you would like to see. But this is something that I would like to do, and I probably will do. Because it's kind of what my channel is predicated on is superhero related games, anime related games. That's pretty much the bulk of what I do on my channel. Aside from the discussions and talk stuff. So, there's that. Now, let's move on to the other game which was announced before E3. We saw footage of it before E3 and whatnot. And that is Injustice Gods Among Us 2. Well, actually, it's just Injustice 2. It's not Gods Among Us. At least, I don't think that's the working title. It sounded like it was something else. Um, but Injustice 2 is coming. Now... I've only played a little bit of the first Injustice. I recently also just bought the first Injustice for the PS4 for when the system is in my hands. I'll talk about that uh, nearing the end of this video. But I'm very excited to see what's going to happen in Injustice 2. I like the premise of the first one. I've seen enough of the story to know that I really like Injustice. One, I liked the concept of Injustice 2 for the most part. I want to see how this armor stuff works in combat and whatnot. I want to take like some of my favorite DC characters and kind of give them really cool looking armors and whatnot. Though it does make them look a bit too Iron Man-y for my personal taste. That's one of the things that kind of makes it uh, slightly disappointing. But at the same time, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. I just want to play another Injustice. It's really cool and awesome. I also like those games because it deals with alternate realities and whatnot. I love games that kind of touch, or superhero games that touch on that type of aspect. It's a really cool idea. Uh, we don't see it very often, but I'm excited for it. I hope that someday we get like an actual Justice League video game that's like a beat em up or something. I'd love to see that. Hopefully that'll happen. Kind of like DC Heroes game for the PS2 that I played years ago. That one was really cool and I liked it. But that was really interesting. Um, some of the characters that they announced for the game that we already know about like Supergirl and Atrocitus looked awesome. I'm really excited to see what happens with them. That sounded like Captain Cold and Dr. Fate might also be in the game. And if Dr. Fate's in the game, I might play Dr. Fate quite a bit. Because I really like Dr. Fate. Um, Captain Cold's pretty cool too. I just hope that all the costumes and whatnot that we get in the game are going to be pretty interesting. As you guys could probably tell, I'm really excited for all this information and news. There were some other games at E3, but none of them really grabbed my attention like those two did. Those are the two games I'm really excited for. I want to see them. I want to see them succeed. And all that kind of good stuff. Um, on a short side note, I have Inju the first Injustice Gold Edition coming to my house relatively soon. I ordered it not that long ago. I still need to buy my PS4, but that's beside the point. I, needed I wanted the game because we have other plans. We have some verses style videos coming to you guys as soon as I can possibly get them out. But, I wanted to know real quick if you guys would like me to play through the original story of Injustice. We'll do all the versus content re probably regardless because I want to start a new series on the channel. But I am actually really interested in playing through a good portion of the story of Injustice. Would you be interested in that? It probably wouldn't be like every few days. It might be like just part of a story once a week. Maybe twice a week if I feel like it. But I would really like to get your guys' input on this. Because I want to play it. I'll probably play it. But I'd like to at least know that at least one of you guys out there. Any of you guys out there would like to see me play through the original Injustice. Especially considering Injustice 2 is on its way. It'll be here relatively soon, I think sometime next year. I, I can't remember the release date. Um Yeah, I don't remember I don't remember the release date of it, but I I think it's gonna be relatively soon. Um 
But that's pretty much all I have for now. I don't really have any other games that I'm really overly excited for that are coming out, at least for the PS4. There's Nintendo stuff, of course, but right now I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to play through all that stuff at the moment. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, as always, do not forget to leave a like and a comment. Shoot that comment, you know, blow it up. Blow up my comment section. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Share this video if you liked it. And as always, do not forget to raise your nerd flags high, and I will see you next time! Nightwolf's out! Superheroes, ho!